Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I am going to discuss about rank of matrix method. This is going to be second example on rank of matrix method. And here it is about the problem which is based upon the infinite solution. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, let's begin the solution of this problem and here we are asked to test the consistency of the system. So the three system of equations are x plus y plus z equals to 3, x plus 2y plus 3z equals to 4 and 2x plus 3y plus 4z equals to 7 by using rank of matrix method and solve if consistent. So before solving this problem, we must have be familiar with the statement of the rank of matrix method and uh, the statement of rank of matrix method is here. It says that while solving what we need to do is we have to convert the given matrix we have to write down the augmented matrix of the given matrix then we have to convert it in echelon form and uh, after converting into the it echelon into the echelon form we have to apply some operations on the rows and we have the uh, then after we will check if the rank of a matrix a is equal to rank of matrix uh, augmented matrix or not if it is equal then the matrix then the given system of equation is consistent and solution exists second thing is if rank of a this symbol represents rank if rank of a is not equal to rank of augmented matrix then it is the system of equation is inconsistent solution does not exist further after testing the consistency what we need to do is we have to check for r r is rank of a matrix and is number of variable if rank of matrix is equal to number of variable then the given system of equation holds unique solution if rank is less than number of variables then there exists infinite solution so in this new problem uh, this problem is about uh, infinite solution so we will learn how to solve this numerical and in the previous video it was about the unique solution i hope this the previous video was helpful to you and uh, link is for if you haven't watched the previous video link is provided in the description you can go go through the link to watch that video and further number of independent variable equals to n minus r so let's begin the solution of this video now so the step is again same what we need to do is we have to uh, write the given system of equation in the matrix form so i'm going to write here solution and after writing solution matrix form form is so the matrix form is uh, it will be in the form of a x equals to b so we will have here 1 1 1 1 2 3 2 3 4 further we have x y z equals to 3 4 7 so after writing it in the matrix form what we need to do is we have to write the augmented form so here we will have augmented form of given matrix suppose it is in the form of ax equals to b so augmented form will be is represented by a b and it will be written as the elements of matrix a first of all we need to write the elements of matrix a so it is 1 1 1 1 2 3 2 3 4 put the sign of colon and write down the element uh, which were uh, in the uh, in the matrix b so it is 3 4 7 now what we need to do is we have to apply some operation on draw uh, which will be called as echelon form e c l o n e echelon form and in thus in this form we have to convert the element which are lying below the diagonal element to zero means we have to convert this one to zero and two to zero and three to zero and how we can convert this to zero we uh, we need to apply operations i'm going to write here if we apply r2 implies r2 minus r1 means 
r2 element is 1 so 1 minus 1 it will get 0 similarly for r3 we have to convert this to, to also 0 so r3 implies r3 minus 2 times r1 what i did uh, we have sub multiplied this r1 element 1 by 2 and then subtracted from r3 to convert this to 0 this is what this operation says so on doing so we will have here we are not doing any operation on r1 so we will write the element of r1 as it is so it is 1 1 1 3 it will get converted to 0 and we have 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 1 is 2 similarly 4 minus 3 is 1 similarly uh, r3 minus 2 times r1 means 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0 similarly 3 minus 2 times 1 3 minus 2 times 1 so 3 minus 2 means 1 and here we will have 2 and here 1 now as you can see r2 and r3 is common uh, uh, elements are identical so our one more operation is going to be that is r3 implies r3 minus r2 what i do, i am doing is we are subtracting r2 element from r3 so element of r1 and r2 will be written as it is and we need to make changes to the elements of r3 only so here we go 1 1 1 and 3 0 1 2 1 0 0 0 and 0 so uh, if we consider or talk about the rank of matrix a it is 2 because third row is 0 so rank of matrix a is 2 similarly rank of matrix a b means augmented matrix is also 2 because here uh, if we talk about a b here also third row is mpt so i am going to write here rank of a is equal to rank of a upon b it means that our system of equation is consistent and solution exist is equal to 2 so, so i will write here so it is consistent consistent and solution and consistent meaning is so it is meaning is it means it has solution so solution exists now we will move further so here now we need to uh, here here i have simply copied what we the values which we which we got previously now we will solve it further so here we have come to know that this uh, it is consistent the given system of equation are consistent and the solution exists so here what we have here if we count the, uh, talk about rank here rank of the given matrix is only 2 while number of variable is 3 number of variable x y z there are three variables but the rank is only 2 so in that case if we talk about the statement it says that if rank is less than number of variable in that case there exists infinite solution means we have to now infinite solutions so how we will find the infinite solution for that we will convert these uh, elements to or the rows to equations so we will have here x plus y plus z equals to 3 similarly we will have y plus 2z equals to 1 now what we will do here see after that what we will do let z equals to k be arbitrary we have considered that z is equal to k where k is arbitrary so from equation 2 suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 so from equation 2 what we will have here uh, y plus 2k equals to 1 from here we will have y equals to 1 minus 2k after that from equation 1 again from equation 1 we will simply put the value of y and z in equation 1 so we will have here x plus value of y is 1 plus 1 sorry 1 minus 2k 
and plus z is k equals to 3 so on solving this we will get the value of x will be x plus 1 minus 2k plus k equals to 3 so uh, x plus 1 minus k equals to 3 so we will have here x equals to k plus 2 this is the solution for x so we will have here and finally we will have x equals to k plus 2 y equals to 1 minus 2k and similarly z equals to k these are our solutions and this represents infinite solution so i hope you enjoyed this lecture uh, and try to share this video with your friend and like the video and leave a comment if you really enjoyed this content see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself